Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to hop on and see if I can do any more progress or make any more progress on the interior of this Dooney & Burke small Brenna in the Florentine leather. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary center handbags like Coach Michael Kors, Russell Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. So this is a, like I said, a Dooney & Burke uh, Florentine small Brenna satchel. I purchased it on Poshmark. Um, it's a beautiful bag, but it did come to me pretty nasty. Um, I will uh, link the video where I did my first kind of cleaning of this bag down below, but it was, you know, covered in pet hair, covered in a lot of gross things. You know, after I did all of that work to clean it out, the one thing I kind of left there and I didn't know how to deal with was these stains that are on the bottom of the bag. Now it might be hard for you to see, so maybe I'll turn off my flash to, to help show you. So yeah, you can see in there, you have a stain right there and right there. Um, and so those stains are not that deep, not that, um, you know, it's, it's not that dramatic, but I do wanna see if I can do anything to get them out. So the nice thing about this lining, of course, is that I can pull it out and maybe I can show you a little bit up close. So you can see some stains right there, one right there. Um, so like I said, I haven't done anything at all to try to get these out. So I'm gonna just do kind of a first pass with water and then I'm gonna try a shout wipe um, to see if I can get any of this out. So I have a spray bottle of water. I have a microfiber cloth. I'm just gonna wet this instead of the inside of the bag just so it'll be kind of quicker to dry. And I'm just gonna rub and see what happens. I'm gonna see if I can get any of these to lift a little bit. Like maybe they are like makeup stains or something that, you know, while they look like stains, maybe they're not stains and they will come up kind of easily. Um, so I'm just gonna keep doing this and see what happens. So I just wanted to point out, I just found like another pretty deep not deep, but more dramatic stain, I guess. You can see all the way along there. And it is a little bit sticky, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna try to see if I can clean that up. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, that really didn't do much. You can still see those light stains kind of all throughout the lining. I'm really not sure how much this is showing up on camera, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about with these kind of, they're pretty light, but in real life, they're definitely very obvious. And maybe that's why I didn't catch them when I was buying it because um, they're you know, relatively hard to see in pictures and on video. Like when I have, maybe, maybe you can see it, I'm not sure, but it's, it's really hard to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about and, and you know, at that show you kind of any progress I'm making. But basically I didn't make any progress with just water. So now what I'm gonna try is I'm going to try a shout wipe. So I got this in my Christmas stocking last year. I've been saving it for an occasion where I felt like I really needed it. Um, and of course now it's completely dried out. Uh, so I'm going to just spray some water on it to see if I can kind of moisten it back up. Okay, it is moistened. And I'm gonna see if rubbing this on those stains kind of does anything. I highly doubt it. I do think these are pretty set in. Um, but hopefully at the very least, so this bag came with a very strong scent when I bought it. Um, it's not like an odor, but it certainly wasn't something that felt very pleasant to me. So I was hoping to figure out a way to get that scent out of the bag and maybe by kind of just scrubbing the interior a bit, I'll be able to get that scent um, to go away and make the bag smell a little bit less strong of that scent. So you can kind of see one thing here too. Um, yeah, maybe you can see it right there. I am kind of picking up some of the dye of the bag. So this is a very bright red interior and you can see right there, there's a little bit of that dye coming up. So I do wanna be careful to not kind of, you know, remove the dye and create these like white splotches where I've lifted a bunch of dye. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of like trying anything that comes to mind. If you guys have any ideas, please do let me know. The other thing I was maybe thinking of trying was just taking some laundry detergent and kind of using a toothbrush and letting it sit for a bit. But that would be really difficult for me to rinse out without getting the leather like completely damp. So I was a little bit hesitant to do that and I don't really know like how I would go about doing that. Um, I will say this does not appear to be working, the shout wipe, um, but maybe once it dries, it'll look a little bit better. Um, and maybe I guess I shouldn't expect instantaneous results uh, when you have, you know, some stains that are probably been set in for, 
for months and months or maybe even years, you know, this bag was definitely well loved when I got it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really seeing much of a difference there. Yeah, I think <laughs> those are the two things I tried. And I'm going to keep kind of scrubbing at this. I don't think this is going to be super successful. Um, and the last step, I guess, that I'm going to take uh, is that I'm going to just spray down the interior of this bag with some Febreze. I just want this bag to stop smelling like that person. I want this to smell like something, just anything else besides that person, because all that smell reminds me of is the insane amount of pet hair that I found in this bag, um, which really, really grosses me out. Um, so I am going to try to just spray with Febreze, let that dry at least, so that the interior of the bag has a nice kind of fresh scent. But I am really flying blind here. So for any of you guys who like really kind of revamp bags or like know what you're doing about this, I would definitely appreciate some tips. I've watched some YouTube videos and some people have some like specialized products like stain removers that they see um, or that they get like from the dollar store or for like carpet cleaner. But all of those videos say don't use that, say don't use that kind of stuff on these kinds of like bright red interiors because it can discolor them. Although I'm not sure, like what is your opinion? Do you think it would be better to discolor the interior or to just leave these stains? Um, because I feel like the stains look a little bit gross, but I do think that discoloration would make the bag look, I don't know, a little bit used and a little bit kind of beat up. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. You can see that stain right there has had basically no progress. Um, yeah, so there's another big one there. I don't know if you can see that right there. This might be really hard. I don't, I don't know. So I think I might, try to, I don't know, maybe get some color safe stain remover. I could try laundry detergent. I just don't know how I would wash it out. So yeah, I think I'm just going to leave this at that. Uh, I basically made no progress, so this was kind of a fail of a video, but I'll probably upload it anyway just to show you guys that sometimes it's not as easy as the YouTube videos make it seem. Um, so now I'm just going to take this Febreze while I'm here. I'm going to... Um, just kind of spray a little bit here and there. I'm gonna try very hard not to get it on the leather of the bag because I doubt it's very good for the leather. Um, so there it is. Maybe I will, oh that smells really good actually. So this was a good call at least. Hopefully that will make the interior of the bag not smell so, you know, so much like that, that lady. Um, actually, I'm gonna just push this on the inside because now that I have given up on cleaning it, at least this way I won't get Febreze all over the leather. So I'm just gonna spray a couple sprays here. This is probably way too much for such a small surface area. I'm just gonna spray these pockets too. Um, I think what I'll probably do while, you know, while this Febreze dries is just pull these pockets out to make sure that they fully dry and they don't kind of sit there damp because I don't want them to get like mildewy or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess this is kind of my, <laughs> my very big fail of a video. Uh, hopefully though, the Febreze at least helps make this bag feel usable to me and not smell so strong because I would love to take it out. I just kind of am grossed out by it right now and the idea of putting my SLGs in it just kind of makes me feel a little squeamish. So thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any tips on how to get those stains out, but otherwise I will see you next time. Bye.